I think one, I, I realized that we have a, a finite amount of time to accomplish what it is we want to accomplish. And that took me a long time to figure out. You know, when I was in my 20s and my first half of my 30s, like most people, you think like you're going to live forever. But then things start happening. You get like maybe you get hurt or maybe you get uh, a friend gets killed in an accident or gets sick or maybe you get sick. And you start to have this understanding that you have a time limit here. And when that really sunk in with me is when my life changed in terms of my mindset. Uh, I started to realize, OK, um, this is real. This isn't a rehearsal. This is my real life. And if I'm going to be what I really want to be, I'm going to have to do things very, very focused and very, very intentional and be be a machine of productivity in all areas of my life. And so um, I think that happens at different points in life for different people. Some people, it never happens and they're OK uh, living, you know, less than where they thought they wanted to be. I'm just not one of those people. Like I, I'm a very literal person. Like if I say, Hey, I want to be a hundred billion dollar company. That doesn't mean I want to be a $1 billion company. It means a hundred. And so I just realized, man, I'm not that I'm not, I'm, this is the truth. I'm not that smart. I'm not that skilled. And for me to compete with some of these dudes that are, I have to give everything I have. And so that was really the mindset flip for me. Uh, when it came to developing discipline and mental toughness and the things I needed. Um, and and now I'm so far into it that I don't know. I'm scared to death of going back, but I don't know if I actually could because I just see things so different now. I mean, bro, when you and I first met, I was 350 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was quite a bit different back then. Um, and, and, you know, all the stuff that got me kind of on the map you know, the fiery rants and, and, the and the shit that no one really was talking about. That was just me telling me, dude, you need to quit being a lazy piece of shit, you know? And, uh, <laughs> it, 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 people, people resonate with it, I guess, but you know, it, it's just internal dialogue, brother. And, uh, you know, I have a very, I have a very strong, um, ambition and I have, uh, a very strong, what I call bitch voice. All right. So I, everybody has a boss voice and a bitch voice. That's what I call them. And we want to listen. We want to, we want to train ourselves to listen to that voice that tells us, Hey dude, uh, it's time to go for a fucking run. You haven't done shit today. You laid on the couch all day. You ate like shit. Get off your fat ass and go for a run. That's our boss voice. Now that boss voice doesn't sound very good. It sounds painful. And our bitch voice is the one that says, no, nah, dude, look, tomorrow's fine. You've, you already already messed up this day. We'll start again tomorrow. It's all good. And that is the voice that controls most people. Most people make all of their decisions based around comfort, based around uh, that what I call the, the bitch voice uh, in their lives. And that's why they that's why they feel all the time out of control. That's why they feel powerless. It's why they have anxiety. It's why a lot of people get depression episodes. And it's also why they never meet the person they want to meet. They never make the money they want to make. They never look the way they want to look. It's really the downfall of their entire existence is they listen to this one voice in their head. And to, to really change your life, all you have to do is train yourself to listen to the other one. You're right. But nobody wants to talk about that because, you know, right now in society, what's popular? Self-love. Be nice to yourself. Well, dude, I'm going to be honest. If I got DJ sitting here and I care about DJ, I'm going to tell DJ, hey, bro, you got 50 fucking pounds to lose. That's what love is. I'm loving that dude because I'm telling him the truth. and I'm giving him an opportunity to change it. And that that's just how I see things. So uh, I don't know. I've, at one point in time, I, I figured out, like, I need to start listening to that guy that sounds real mean in my brain. And my life got a lot better when I did. <laughs> Hey Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.